Hello friends, Garima here. Today, I am going to make an art journal page on the theme summer. Links to all the materials used are in the description below. So, let's start. I wanted to create a beautiful beach. So, I thought of all the things we associate with a relaxing day on the beach such as ice cool mocktails, colorful umbrella, melting ice cream, slippers and a juicy watermelon. I am drawing them on a pipe cardstock paper and will cut them out. I am going to use a page which is not too thin and has a smooth texture. Now I will apply gesso over the entire area. Gesso prepares the surface for painting with acrylic colors. After applying gesso, colors look brighter because they are not absorbed by the paper. It also makes the paper more stiff so it does not get torn easily. Now I am going to create sunshine using bright yellow acrylic paint. I will spread it over the page using wet wipes. As you can see the color is very light because the amount of color is low. So I will let it dry and then use a sponge to apply another coat. Using sponge I can pick more color every time which makes it darker. You can also use a brush here. I now want to create cool blue water. So I will mix blue acrylic paint with white and using a sponge start applying it from the corner of the page through the center and all the way down. This gives an uneven look which is quite similar to sea waves. I will also color the remaining area yellow. I am keeping the bottom portion light yellow because it will be covered with sand anyway. Now I will apply yellow distress ink on the left page and blue distress ink on the right page. I am now blending blue and yellow colors slightly on the edges to create a dramatic green shade. These are ice cream sticks I will use to create a table. I am going to color it with different shade of blue. I like to experiment. So I will prepare the color by mixing blue acrylic paint with blue watercolor. I will also paint the sides of the first and the last sticks because their sides will be visible when pasted. Now we need to dress our table up for which we need a tablecloth. So I am going to use ribbons of different color to make a crisscross structure. I will use roller glue to hold the ribbons in place temporarily. Finally, the cloth is ready. I will paste a red ribbon at the end using double sided tape and then I will lift it off the surface. As you can see, using roller glue earlier made it easy to remove the tablecloth. I will trim the edges to give it a more defined shape. Now I am going to give our sea a more realistic look. So I am going to create froth using two layers of colors. I will apply white color and mix it with wet wipes. Then I will apply another layer of blue distress ink over it using ink blending tool. Then I will spray a few drops of water over it. And now comes the cool part. If I just put a dry tissue on the paper, press a little and then remove it, see what I get. A very realistic froth effect. If you notice, water droplets in some blue color have been absorbed by the tissue, exposing the white color underneath, which creates the effect. Now, I need to set my table on the beach. I want to keep it a little tilted. So I will set the sticks accordingly and draw a line to mark where I need to cut them. I am cutting them now but I do not want the table to look fresh and clean as if it has just arrived from a furniture store. So I will apply the same fraud technique as above to give it a slightly rugged look. I will then paste the sticks and the tablecloth on the paper. I will tilt the tablecloth too and cut the extra portion. I can use them in a future project. 
Now I will color all the accessories using Sharpie markers starting with umbrella. I absolutely love Sharpie markers for their bold colors. If you notice, I have colored it with gear. I will add polka dots using white pen and define the boundary using black permanent marker. I will now cut a small rectangle from the white cardstock paper, color it yellow and round the edges. This will serve as a tray. Similarly, I will color watermelon and slippers. And now, on to mocktails. I will first define the boundaries with blue sharpie. I want to give a liquid like texture to the drink. So, I will put distress ink on a small cutting mat and dilute it with water. I will then press the drink against it. I will repeat the same step using sharpie markers for other glass. I will then paint the cherry and the bottom of the drink. I will leave that liquid texture on the top. I will then give some finishing touches with the white pen. But how would you drink it? No worries. Let me put a straw inside. Let me prepare the other drinks too. Can you guess what is missing? Ice cubes. I have cut them from a cardstock paper and will paint them using a blue water brush pen. It is pretty handy tool which has an ink container attached to the brush. So you can use it like a normal pen without dipping the brush in the color. I will put the ice cubes in the drink. Now is the time to put sand on the shore. I have real sand and shells I had collected from beaches in Mumbai and Malaysia. But you can use sand glitter too, link for which is in the description below. I will also use some artificial shells. I will paste fine sand and let it dry. I will then paste the umbrella using double sided tape. The tape will give a 3D look to the scene because the umbrella is now a little above the base paper. Similarly, I will add tray, watermelon and mocktails to the scene. Pretty isn't it? Now, let us make some more 3D effect. Don't you think the straws are too small? So, I will cut the straws from a white cardstock paper and add them. And let me make them more funky by drawing red stripes on these. Cool! These look like real mocktails now. I will add more sand and paste slippers and shells. The scene is almost complete now. We should add some text to make it more charming. So I will create a flag banner using white cardstock paper. I will put the flags on a thread. Now I will paste the two flaps of each flag using double sided tape.
I will then color them and draw outline using a white pen such that it looks as if the blocks have been stitched. Then I will write summer on it. I will then make holes in the paper to mount the thread and put cello tape on the back to hold it in position. I have a goggle shaped stamp so I stamped it and cut out the shape. You can also draw it. I will color it with some funky colors and paste it. And now I'm going to write a quote to match the occasion. I will use a stamp to add double quotes. You can of course draw it by hands. And here comes the quote. The tans will fade, but memories will not. So true. I will give some more finishing touches and add some more text. And before I finish, there is one last cool trick. The glossy accent. Let me apply it to some portions of the scene and see what happens. The watermelon looks more watery and the goggles have begun to shine like real goggles. How cool is that? So, which effect did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like the video, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. More videos are on the way. Press the bell icon to get notified of new videos immediately. Happy memo crafting!